Hello friends, I'm Pastor Nate and this is Hope United Methodist Church. Today I want to invite you to join us for worship at either 8.30 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. What I'm wanting to share with you today is what you might experience if you do decide to join us for worship, what you can expect to see, to hear, and to experience uh, for worship. If you are coming for 8.30 worship, then we meet here. That's building one. That's where our traditional sanctuary is, and you will see that soon. We'll take a little tour of that. And if you join us at 10.30, then you will be here. That's Reese Hall. We'll take a We'll take a walk through there as well. I hope to see you on a Sunday morning, and I hope you stay tuned to see what it is we do and how we do it and what we hear in the parking lot as you come in. All right, here we are in our traditional worship space. Uh, this is Building One. This is where we meet at 8.30 on Sunday mornings for our traditional service. Um, it probably doesn't look a lot like uh, any other traditional church buildings. Uh, it's definitely not a, a traditional building, um, and it's been recently remodeled, so most things in here are pretty new. This is new carpet, this is a, a new railing, and what we're very excited about is are these lights, these uh, stained glass windows that were taken uh, from the old Edwardsburg United Methodist Church, and they've been installed in the wall and backlit, and so uh, we're very excited about that. And uh, what takes place in here is you can expect to be greeted on your way in and um, handed a bulletin, and uh, you find yourself a seat, and there will be a a screen that guides us through the the service as well as a bulletin and we do all the traditional stuff we we pray together we we sing hymns from the hymnal and uh we have communion once a month at the usually at the beginning of the month plus a couple extra special occasions along the way and uh you can expect to uh, be welcomed and to probably see a familiar face if you're from Edwardsburg and uh, to know that, that there's a place for you here and to feel hopefully at home and, uh, and welcomed and loved by the people and by God. Um, we do have a, a piano and an organ and we, we use both of those in service and um, you know, we hope to see you here on Sunday morning. But if traditional service isn't quite your thing or, or you're looking for something new and a little bit different, let's go next door and take a look at Reese Hall and our modern worship service. All right, here we are in Reese Hall. Now, if this doesn't look like what you think of when you think of church, uh, that's because it's not. It is different, and it's different on purpose. The, the goal here is, is the same. We're here to invite you to be a part of something special, to know that you are loved by people and by God, but we, we do it a little bit differently. Uh, you'll see the, the space is quite different, um, and the feel of worship here is quite different as well. Uh, there's tables and chairs for everyone, so you can uh, doodle. Uh, you can you can lay your stuff out and read, or or you can just sit and hang out. Um, the goal here is to let you know that that you don't have to be someone different in here than you were out there. You don't have to 
change your your clothing or your your personality or your demeanor you are welcome here as you are and uh, you can expect every Sunday uh, that we will uh, share in music that that moves us sometimes it's traditional hymns if it is a traditional hymn it's going to be played on guitar and bass and drum and probably given a little bit of an upbeat uh but usually it's it's modern music and and we share that here we have many musicians that that collaborate to make music happen every week and uh and we're really excited about that um sometimes it's it's what you'll hear on on gospel bluegrass radio sometimes it's what you'll hear on on christian contemporary radio and sometimes it's new to me too and uh and it's but what i can guarantee is that every time it's music that speaks to the change that takes place in our lives and our hearts when we get to know Jesus and when we start to follow Jesus and we start to trust in Christ as Lord and Savior, something takes place in our hearts, in our lives that, that changes. And, and here we celebrate that. We celebrate that in, in the other church, in the other sanctuary as well, but, but uh, we express it here in, in just a little bit different way. Um, if you're a musician and and you're you've got some talent you're ready to share, we're, there's a place for you here. If uh, if you know how to operate sound systems or or technology, there's a place for you here. We we have people that are are doing those things, but uh, we're always looking to grow our team um, and to invite you in. If if you just need to kind of sneak in the side door and and sit in the back and take it all in and and see what you think there's a place for that as well here um we do celebrate communion here as well same schedule first sunday of each month plus a couple extra special times along the way but um this sunday coming up this is july 4th we are ex- uh, celebrating the 4th of July, our freedoms in, in America, and also and especially our freedom in Christ. You have been given new life in Christ. You've been given freedom in Christ, freedom that you didn't have before, freedom from sin, freedom from the burden of, of unforgiveness and when you experience forgiveness in Christ, the, the, the weight that is lifted off your life is life-changing, and there's freedom in that. You have been given freedom to live life without the, the heaviness of sin, but also without without having to look for satisfaction and fullness in places that don't provide it truly. We all, every human, struggles with trying to fill our spiritual void with material things, with adult beverages, with with relationships and there's all of sin is is designed to make you think that it's going to fill the void and satisfy you wholly none of it does it none of it the freedom you have in christ is fulfillment it doesn't mean that you won't be hungry again someday it doesn't mean that that you won't have a, a, a desire to, to try new things or, or whatever, but what Christ does that is life-changing and where we find freedom and what we celebrate here is that Christ satisfies the soul and changes your life doing it. That the material possessions, the 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 wealth the 
the status, those things are good and important, but they don't satisfy the void that you might be experiencing today. That place in your heart that's calling out for something different, something new, it's in Christ. If you know that satisfaction, if you know that that life-changing thing that Jesus provides, come celebrate that here. If you're looking for it, if you're wondering about it, there's a place for you here to explore it. And we here at Hope want you to know that there's a place for you here. No matter where you are on that journey, we are all on that journey together. Some are in different places. Everyone's in different places along that journey. Sometimes it's forward progress. Sometimes we have to go back and remember those lessons we've already learned. But Jesus is here to meet you, to walk with you through it all, to change your heart and your life forever. We hope to see you here Sunday, whether it's this Sunday or the next or every Sunday from here on. There's a place for you here to experience hope in Christ. Amen.